Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here doing a Let's Play of Metroid Prime. In the last episode... Oh, I don't even remember anymore. Man, I have, it's been so long since I've played this game, I can't even believe it. I'm actually kind of PO'd right now because I, uh... This is the third time I've had to record this footage. Just because I'm having a real hell of a time getting my, uh... Setup to work right on my computer, like, to record it like I want it to. But, uh... Wait, let's see what these... Let's scan these guys. Oh, they're shooting at me. Dang. It's a seedling. I need to kill that thing. Don't be so close next time. And I avoid these things on the ground here. It's called Tangleweed. But basically, yeah, the reason I already have that entry is because I already have been here. Yeah, I'm going to edit in right now the cutscene for this area. It looks like the first time I played through this, like, the reason I did this three times is because the first two didn't work. The first time I forgot to start the recording, and the second time my screensaver kicked in and I lost a lot of the footage. Which really sucks. Uh, but anyway, yeah, sorry about that, I lost the cutscene there. I, I will, somehow, I will get you, I will get it out there. Like, I will either put a link to another video that has the cutscene, or I will post up another video, I'll do something. But not right now. Alright, the, uh... Yeah, pirate data, we're not going to look at that. But we can't get through the door back here. It requires missiles. You shoot it, and your stuff just bounces off. So we're not going to bother to walk over to it. But yeah, this is my third time going through this, because I'm having trouble with the setup. But I got it to work now, and this, hopefully this time will be the last. I really would love to, like, get away from this freaking ship. I haven't seen it in every video now. Alright, so we're going to go over towards, the, like, the right the ship's right-hand side. To the left, if you're looking at it from this direction. Go to this door. We're gonna go in here and fight these things. These are beetles. Basically, all they do is they burrow around underground and they pop out when you walk near where they are. And then you can just shoot them. I mean, they're really not a threat at all. I mean, all you have to do is you see them, you shoot them. It's easy. Lock on, tap the A button. Not a whole lot to it. These are sap sacks here. Basically, if you shoot those, they explode. If you're too close, they can hurt you. But you have to be fairly close to them for it to do any damage to you. Now there's a door up there that we're not going to go to because uh, behind it, the very next door requires missiles. Which again, we don't have yet because we lost all our abilities. But uh, we are going to go through this door instead. Well, these, these guys on the walls here are uh, zoomers. Basically, they're less threatening. They're basically like obstacles more than enemies. They just crawl around and get in your way. And this is an elevator! Chozo Ruins West. So that's where we're going to go. Oh, and I'm kind of flying through this, but it's because, it, again, it is my third time, but... I'm not trying to harp on that too much. I know it's already been a few times, but... Anyway. Yeah, it's good to be playing this again, though. It's been a while. I haven't played since September 2nd. So it's been like a week now, almost. Which is weird for me. Like, once I pick up a game, I, I pretty much, like, play it, like, almost every day until I'm done with it. That's, that's how I do it. Like, I don't start games unless I intend to finish them up. And then, uh... For, for me to start a game and then not play it for like a week is really strange. Oh man, I'm seeing all kinds of flying colors when I'm doing this right now. My, my uh, picture... Oh yeah, I haven't talked about the new setup yet. I guess I have to talk about it the third time, but... Yeah, they're good again. I'm sorry. Ugh. Anyway, you're gonna want to walk this way. All, all, other, all other paths out of this room are either inaccessible or require missiles once we get in there, so there's really no point in going anywhere except here. You take my word for it right now, but we will eventually go down all of those paths, so you don't have to take my word for it for too long. But, uh, yeah, I went home over the weekend because it was my birthday, and because, you know, I had school off, no school yesterday. Yeah, this is an ion. Wonder, wonder why they called it that, huh? Shoot them and they close. They're not very threatening. A single, single shot from the power blast will just take them right out. They'll close up for a few seconds. It's a significant amount of time, so you can just walk by. There's some Chozo lore on the wall here. Oh crap, it's freezing up on me. Don't do that, please. Ugh, yeah. My GameCube likes to break. Like, it just it doesn't like working. It does what likes to break. Anyway, oh crap. Yeah, let's well, not stare at our reflection for too long. There's bees flying around. I guess it's actually called wasps. What are they actually called? Let's find out. It is a war wasp! Capable of stinging Samus in the face. Be careful. Anyway, yeah, there's a little mirrored surface on the wall here. There's a few of these throughout the game. I think it's kind of easy to see Samus in there, like, hey! That's kind of cool. Anyway, this, over here's our our next save room. Let's see, 4.30? Alright, we got, we got some time left, don't we? 
I think we can make it all the way to the next boss fight. Yeah! And our game has been saved. Amazing. We'll run out. Just run past the bees. We don't need to worry about them again. Run over here. And let's shoot these guys. Basically, all I'm doing there is I'm hitting L, like, repeatedly. And when I once I once I see that it's locked onto something, I just start shooting. It's a pattern that you get down fairly quickly. Anyway, once you walk in here, you get more wasps coming out of this uh, hive up here. And eventually, we'll have the ability to destroy that hive, but our blaster right now can't hack it. So yeah, make these jumps. Don't fall on the stuff, because as you can see, our exclamation point going up and down when we get close to it means that it's hazardous, and if we touch it, we'll take damage. Now these things floating around in the hallway here, see these are plasmites. Basically, they pop when you shoot them. And they also give off light. As you see, the room kind of flickers. When I kill him, it gets nice and dark. Generally, they're not very threatening. They don't really go after you or anything. Wait a minute. Oh, man, I got here so fast. It took me 11 minutes to do some other video, and now I'm here in, like, six. Probably because I, like, zoomed past everything, but sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, here's our next boss fight. Just let's run in here and hop up. Oh, we got a warning, so let's not go, let's not go in the water, huh? Well, let's see. We can go up these little stairs here. That oh, I see something over there. What is that? Let's go get it. Aw! Oh, there's no way. I was much closer than that. Now it's inside of a big spiky thing with beaks on the side. Oh, crap. I lost audio for a second there. <laughs> I thought my GameCube was crashing. Alright, and wasps are going to come out. War wasps. When they fly by, gosh, lock onto them and shoot them until they grab you. And then when that opens up, shoot it. Shoot it like hell. So yeah, basically the strategy is lock on, shoot, you know, until it dies. Oh, gosh. I'm going to keep looking around and once they stop, you can pick them, out, pick them out with your radar. Get them before they get you. And then again, shoot into the little red thing. That's where the little uh, item was. And the minute, minute you can get when they first come out, the better. Because that's when they tend to just like, sort of sit still. You can use your radar to find the ones that aren't moving. Oh, I missed one there, I guess. And they will try to stop behind you and stuff like that. Not too oh, that was it? I thought we had four rounds. I guess it's only three rounds of wasps. Not so hard. Pretty easy, actually. I gotta say that the first boss was a little bit more intimidating than that. Look at this. Let's scan it. Can we scan it? Missile launcher! Yeah, we want that. Da -na 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 -na. Come on, play the music. Play the music. Man, you learn to love that sound. Alright, and then push Y to fire missiles. Cool. I think we already know that. I'm not going to shoot that yet. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do in here right now. Or is there? There's not. So let's go through the door. Oh, sounds like I did something important. Why did I open the door? <gasps> Hooray! That's a... Oh, that's not... What the heck? That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Scan this thing. There you go. Energy tank. This item permanently increases your maximum energy by 100 units. Yeah, basically it increases our health bar. Watch the top of the screen there. Boom. Now we have a little box next to our that 99 that indicates 100 more health points beyond the 99 that is currently being displayed. So, we actually have 199 health points right now. So, that's good. We essentially just doubled our health. But as you can see, this little thing that just fell from the ceiling, that won't fall until you go in the other room and get the tank. So, don't worry about trying, missing it or anything. Now it's one of the few ones that it tries to like help you out by showing you it like that. Most of the time when you find it... Oh, damn it! Oh my god. I'm just gonna cut back in right here. Just because... Oh, I'm so frustrated. Anyway, we got an energy tank. Amazing. Gosh, that is so frustrating. My game cube just froze up on me and, and just like... I had a massive brain fart there. Very, very annoying. Anyway, don't do it again! Oh my god, it's clicking! Don't you dare do it again! Oh! Oh 
Oh man, that's so stressful when, like, when you like you're recording for like 10 or 11 minutes. And, like as soon as you get there to the end, it's like oh, and it, and it breaks. So I'm just like hauling ass back to the save room now. So I really want to get back there before it freezes on me again. Open up, come on! Oh my God, please load the next screen. Yes, amazing. I'm gonna run by. I don't even care if I get hurt. I have another health tank now. I'm invincible. Not quite, but it's pretty close. These little enemies won't do a lot of damage. Let's save the game! Yes, please! Oh, amazing! Oh, I love that. Great. Oh, man. Yeah, I just basically just played the whole play through the whole game again because of all the progress I lost there. Oh, anyway. What I was saying about energy tanks is that usually they hide them and you have to find them. Or you have to use a special ability or show that you're good at the game to get them. They usually don't hand them over like that. any rate, oh, man. I just saved, so I'm going to stop here. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime. See you then.